Okay, we're back to the cylinder head. And what we're going to do is we're going to just dismantle the cylinder head. You know, take the, we're going to take the valves out and we're going to take the, the rockers off. Um, and uh, what I've decided to do is I've decided to take the rockers off first because they're a bit in the way for getting the valves out. I'm fairly sure we can get the valves out with the rockers in place, but since we are, since we do need to remove the rockers, we might as well get them out of the way, and then I've got better access to the valves. So the, the there are four rocker shafts that screw in the side of the head. Okay, two uh, inlet, two exhaust, and uh, basically they've got a threaded. They're threaded internally, and then we have a. Uh, sort of hammer drive tool and what, what we do is we screw that into there nice and tight and then we use the slide it's a slide hammer so let me just, just, just slide it backwards to try and pull the uh, shaft out a bit agricultural but there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the head back in the barbecue get it up to again about 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit that's 200 degrees centigrade I think so it's nice and hot and hopefully that means that these uh, rocker shafts will come out without too much of a problem. You know, sometimes they come out fine. Sometimes they really don't want to know. So let's get fingers crossed that get it nice and hot and they should all come out. Okay, uh, we're getting there. Barb is nice and hot, <laughs> smoking a little bit, <laughs> probably the oil. Uh, where are we? We're getting up to 400. Yeah, so when it hits 400, I think that'll be hot enough again and uh, we'll take it down and uh, see if we can get those rocker shafts out okay i very uh quickly set the camera up because of course i forgot to do it before and uh so i'm screwing that in making sure it's in a fairly good long way half inch UNF. Just tighten up there and now I've got this slide action I'm trying not to catch my glove I've already got two out these are the last two yes. and out she comes okay one more to go so then try and undo this nut if I can All right, one more, one more to go. I'm trying to keep the valves in order if I can. Uh, the rocker shafts, it may be that we reuse them. So again, as with everything, you want it back in the same position if you can that you took it out of. Just tighten up a bit. Last one, it probably won't come out. All the others have been fine. Good. So that's all for rocker shafts out. Excellent. Turn that back around to where it was. Okay, and then we've got the actual uh, rockers to come out now. I think we can see that, can we? I didn't position the camera too well because I was in a bit of a rush. Uh, so let's have a look. We've got the rocker and we've got a Thackeray washer. Okay, so that just pulls off now because the shaft's gone. And I'm just making a note that we've got the Thackeray washer, which is the size to fall down inside. The Thackeray washer on the inside. Always make a note of these things. Might sound silly. Thackeray washer on the inside, then rocker, and plain washer on the outside. So, Thackeray washer. Yeah, so that's like just a, that's a Thackeray washer, like a big spring washer. So the spring washer, then the rocker, 
and then on the out on the outside is the plane washer. So I'm fairly sure that's the correct order, but again, we'll be checking that when we do reassembly. But it's always worth noting where things are when you take them off. The problem being, of course, that you don't know it was assembled correctly in the first place. You know, back in the day, someone's taking it off, they don't really know what they're doing. You, know, you don't know if this has been apart before and uh, been assembled incorrectly, but it's always a good guide. That's the two uh, exhausts out. And now, take the two inlets out. Remembering, reminding myself that they're round the opposite way. Just going to have a quick look. Because they're further in the head, I'm just going to check the Thack Thackeray washer's position in here. Yeah, again, the Thackeray washer is on the inside, then the rocker, then there's a plain washer on the outside. I think I've got to take that. I think I've got to take this, uh, to get the uh, inlet ones off, I've got to take the uh, stud, the central stud out that holds the casing on. So I'll put two nuts on that shaft, lock them together, and then get the stud out. Right, okay, because the head's hot, this stud actually came out very easily, so I didn't have to lock Two nuts together, it was virtually finger tight. So now, hopefully, I can take out the inlet rockers. There we go. There's one. Put it with it uh, where it should be. Got that one wrong. Put it with its mate over there. Now, what's happening? What is going on? Why you not want to come out? Oh, I think it's caught on the Thackeray washing. Isn't it? 